The Cats are now 7-0, 4-0 in region competition. They defeated Ridgeland on last Friday night, 38-0. Now, after these messages, uh, Coach Chapel will join us and talk about this exciting Catamount football team. They say all interior design stands on carpeting. When you walk into a room and look down on a wear-dated carpet, <laughs> that room starts looking up. Wear-dated carpet. If we're not standing behind it, <laughs> you shouldn't be standing on it. Thank you. Hello, I'm Patrick Mead with Hardwick Bank. You know, we've been partners with the Dalton business community for over 120 years. We've helped in the shaping of the carpet industry through an aggressive, hard work philosophy to maximize your business success. We offer a wide array of commercial loan, and we specialize in SBA 504 lending for a new construction or new equipment purchase. Hardwick also offers an innovative accounts receivables financing package that can help you by decreasing your interest expense and fee exposure. By utilizing state-of-the-art technology, we can give you quick, accurate service. And remember, as a local hometown bank, all of the credit and business decisions regarding your company are made right here. Let Hardwick Bank work hard for you. After all, Hardwick Bank means business. Hardwick Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC, an equal housing lender, 278-3030. Shaw Industries is proud to be a sponsor of the Bill Chapel Show exclusively on your official hometown TV station, Falcon Cable TV 6. It was homecoming coach and uh, the weather cooperated for you. It looked like early in the day that it might be a, a bad night, but it's a beautiful night. Uh, and <clears throat> good crowd and, uh, and uh, you had a chance to play, I guess, everybody that was able to play. Everybody that uh, could play played, right? And it was a pretty night after such an afternoon we had. And um, we had quite a few old classes to come back. Uh, class of 43, I think the class of 48, uh, 68, and of course the honor class of uh, 73 were all there. Uh, and they all had uh, places designated for them to sit. That's uh, quite unusual for a high school, I think, to have those kind of classes to come back like that. And I think it's real good. All right, well, you saw some, uh, uh, many of the men that you coached uh, throughout the years. Well, and back, uh, this class of 68, that was uh, this team of 67, which was the state championship team, and uh, quite a few of them were back. Uh, of course, the 72 team would have been the class of 73, and saw quite a few of them. Now, I didn't coach any of the 43 or 48 <laughs> class. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't been here quite that oh. long. All right, well, it, uh, <clears throat> some people seem to think so, don't they, Bill? Uh, <laughs> well, it, it's kind of funny, but uh, I was talking to Myra Kinney the secretary at the high school and I, I said well the class of 48 is going to be here tonight and I said golly I graduated in 49 she said I wasn't born till 43 I said thank you <laughs> thank you all right well now <clears throat> you had a chance to do a, a lot of things uh, with a lot of different faces uh, Friday night I, I'm sure you welcome that we did we needed that too and I, I wanted to get uh, Benji you know Benji uh, was hurt at the Cedartown game uh, on one of the touchdowns he scored and uh, and we wanted to get him out of there as soon as we could. Uh, we didn't play Jeff Green and we didn't play Clint Bagley because of injuries but they should be full speed now this week, all three of them. Um, Their replacements did well. They did real well. Peter Putnam for the amount of time that he had to work at fullback did an excellent job. You know Peter Peter has had arthroscopic surgery on his knee already this year, and uh, it's amazing how you can come back and, and play after having that now, uh, two or three weeks and you're right back in the action. He, he looked awfully quick out there. Uh, night. Peter's extremely quick and did a good job at fullback, uh, considering the fact that he hadn't been there all, all fall that much, and certainly didn't have the game uh, experience that he, that he probably needed, but he did a great job. And I'm, I'm happy with the competition we got going on at tailback between Jose and Ty Maker. Now, we're very fortunate to have two like that. It, it uh, kind of reminds me when we had uh, Keith Whitworth and Forrest Starks. When you got two 
it makes both of them better. In fact, I wish we had that kind of competition at all 22 positions. It would just make everybody better. Um, it's good to see the young kids play. I, I, I really enjoy watching that, uh, that junior varsity. Now, I think this was the third, third ball game that we've just turned the fourth quarter over to them. And I really enjoy watching them go out there. They're so, uh, they get after it. They're, yeah. they're enthusiastic and they, and they really get after it and play hard. And uh, I enjoy seeing that because that's our future. And um, I, I see uh, well, some they, good they players. They may make some mistakes, but they play uh, with intensity. They, they play, they do it yeah. full speed. Yeah. They don't mess around and they don't, they don't act bashful. So it's enjoyable to watch them. Well, a lot of those will be getting more playing time next year uh, on, the, uh, on the big team. Well, they'll be on the varsity for sure. Mm -hmm. Next year, so many of them will. Um, I, I, you know, they've played enough this year probably to already letter everybody. So yeah, no. uh, that's, that's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad because they go out and practice hard every day. And then our second unit's got to play uh, a lot, and, and they need that too. Um, it's good. You know, I was listening to, the, the, uh, watching a little bit of the Florida State and Virginia game, and and they were talking about uh, Florida State had played 60-something boys in the first quarter. I heard that. I, that, that was unbelievable. I, I thought, goodness, that's, that is unreal. 60-something, when you got that kind of talent. But I, I would love to be able to play. Uh, we play 22, and there's some individual subs, but I would love to be able to play 40 or 45 boys before the half. Well, uh, Jay Dukes got him a long uh, field goal, and I was glad to see that as uh, the latter part of the season. Right. Along. Well, we need that under game conditions, too. And we, we did a little experiment the other night, uh, running some plays that we hadn't ran much in a game and, and seeing if we could get it polished up under game conditions. And we still need to work on some of them. But uh, uh, Jay has done a good job for us uh, kicking, handling the kickoffs, the extra points, field goals and the punting and uh, we've got another good one right with him in George Woods that's uh there again we got yeah. good competition at that position too all right well now we're going to come back after later in the show coach and talk about uh going to Rome next Friday night and uh next Friday night's not going to be like it was this past Friday night so let's go to these messages and uh, and then later in the show come back and let's talk about Rome all across America, people are working to build their dreams, their futures. Your independent insurance agent understands the need to protect those hopes and dreams. We help protect millions of homes, autos, and lives, and more businesses and employees than anyone else. To protect your hopes and dreams, see your independent insurance agent. It pays to make the independent choice. It pays to see Pruden and Brooks. Call 278-1149. The Green Spot at 309 West Emory Street has been your grocery shopping choice in the same location for 34 years. The meat department at the Green Spot has the freshest meats hand cut daily and never prepackaged. The produce department at the Green Spot is second to none for freshness and service. The Green Spot specializes in personal service and customer satisfaction. Your complete one-stop grocery store is the Green Spot on West Emory Street, open six days a week. There's a carpet sale underfoot with savings so big you'll want to kick up your heels. But don't worry, partner. The carpet is made with Anzo Crush Resistor Nylon, the fashionable fiber for your walk of life. And they're hers, too. Anzo Crush Resistor, the most fashionable fiber underfoot. Carpets of Dalton for the best prices on the biggest selection of floor coverings. Exit 135, under the big sign in Dalton, Georgia. All right, Coach, uh, <clears throat> Brian Edwards is here and with a scouting report, and also he's going to tell us about the progress of the uh, junior varsity. Uh, they had a game last week, right? Yes, sir. Last Thursday we went to uh, Ringo and beat, the, uh, beat them 22-12. to 12. Uh, We scored in the first half, made it 8 to nothing, and then oh, we came back and scored two more touchdowns to make it 22 to nothing. Then they scored two touchdowns late in the ballgame to make the final score 22-12 to 12. right now. We're 6-0. We have one more game in two weeks against Northwest. A big rivalry, of course, and we're looking forward to the challenge. Our kids are looking forward to uh, making this an undefeated season. All right. Now, well, that, that would be played at Northwest. Yes, sir. All yes, right. sir. All right, but that, uh, that calls for a big crowd because oh, that would yes. be an undefeated uh, season. We need everybody out to cheer us on, and 
I hope to have a lot of crowds for it. And you know, uh, Rod invariably, and, he, and Coach Chapel uh, uh, mentioned it again on the uh, uh, show today, he loves to watch those boys that you've got uh, playing. Oh uh, yeah, this is a future. This is a future coming up. and. Uh, we have to make sure that we do a good job against all these teams we're playing because these guys will be facing them. That's right. If we do a good job with them now, uh, we'll have it easier down the road, hopefully. All right. Now, let's go to the uh, to uh, to Rome. Uh, tell us about Rome. You got a, a chance to see a good ball game, Rome and Northwest Friday uh, night, didn't you? Rome and Northwest was a very good ball game. Uh, of course, Northwest came back and beat them in the last few minutes of the ball game, and uh, Northwest uh, I guess preferred to pass over the run because uh, Rome has such a, a large uh, defensive front. Uh, they're much like Cedartown as far as size goes. Uh, they have a number 80, uh, a Bouchard Green, who plays defensive tackle. He's very, uh, very strong, very big guy. He's probably about 6'3", 265 or 270. Uh, number 56, uh, Rico Perkins plays linebacker for him, does a very good job. Uh, as far as defense goes, you'll usually see them in a, a 50 defense against Northwest. They played a 6-2. They loosened their ends up to have a lot of co uh, pass coverage underneath. Uh, you'll also see them run a, a shade defense like we do at times. And when you get on the goal line, they'll run something like a 7-4, maybe a 6-5. But uh, from what we've seen so far, it's been a 7-4. Uh, very tough on defense. Uh, as far as offense goes, uh, number two, the quarterback, uh, Rico Arnold, he's a very good runner. Uh, he likes to sprint out on the pass plays, and if uh, he can't get the pass to go through, he'll take it and run the ball. And, uh, we can't let him get to the open field. And I think he played last year. He has good speed, too. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, they have a lot of speed, though. Yes, sir. They, they do. Their, their tailback, number 34, Miko Crawford, of course, he played last year. He's a very big guy. Uh, he's a lot of, got a lot of quick moves, and uh, he's hard to bring down. You've got to hit him with more than just one person. It's going to take a group of us to bring him down, and he's a very hard runner. Uh, and then number 20, who plays a wing back or a slot, depending on their formations, he's going to uh, do a good job running pass routes, and he's probably the overall favorite pass receiver. And so we need to probably key him on the uh, passing situations. Uh, as far as formations, uh, Rome likes to run a, a wing T set at times. They'll run an I formation. You'll see them in a two tight end set. And when they go to the two tight end set, it's usually around uh, in short yardage situations around the goal line or coming out from their goal line. You'll see number 80 uh, come back in the game and play that tight end. He does a very good job blocking there. Um, also, you'll, the, the plays that are probably key for us to stop are the sweep plays. They love to run the sweep plays into the short, short side of the field, especially if they have an unbalanced line in that direction. So that's probably something we're going to have to stop there, first of all. All right, well, our ends and defensive back better, better be ready to come up yes, in sir, a hurry. Yes, sir, they better be ready to uh, hit somebody hard and come up and do their job, yes, sir. All right, there's no question that this is going to be a tough opponent Friday night. That's right. This is a, this game right here means a lot to us, and we've, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, if we can do this uh, well, we'll be in good shape, hopefully, for the rest of the season. So. All right, well, you, you've given a, a good report. That ought to tell us what to do to prepare to get ready for Friday night. So let's get them ready and have a win Friday, Coach. Thank you. That's Mommy's little sweetheart. Now there's a new Stainmaster carpet that handles foot traffic like never before. New Stainmaster Extra Life. Only from DuPont.
Hubs Hardware and Garden Center is your complete hardware and home improvement center. The greenhouses at Hubs have your favorite fall and winter plants, including mums. Hubs Hardware and Garden Center has fountains, trees and shrubs, pine straw, seeds and fertilizer, birdhouses and feeders. Hubs has a complete line of mowers, snapper, toro, echo, parts and service for all equipment sold. Hubs has gas logs, fireplace inserts, and all accessories for the fireplace. Hubs Hardware and Garden Center has daily delivery service and is open seven days a week at the corner of Walnut Avenue and Doug Gap Road. Kevin Henry, honor student, athlete, and survivor. He shouldn't have even lived through the car accident, and for 40 days, he lay in a coma, his lungs damaged, and his legs burned and broken. But even before Kevin came to, his family knew that in time and with therapy, Kevin would recover. Thanks to the most complete range of hospital services in North Georgia, at Hamilton Medical Center in Dalton. Now Kevin's back on the move from an accident he barely survived. Now, this year, the Catamounts have, have added something uh, extra special, and that's uh, our kickers. Uh, we've got two great kickers, and, and the fortunate thing is not only the, the job that each of them is doing this year, but the fact that they are both underclassmen. On the left is uh, Jay Dukes, and Jay, you're a junior. Yes. And on the right, George Woods, and George, you're a sophomore. Yes, sir. Okay. Both are experienced uh, uh, place kickers, uh, field goals, and extra points, and uh, and and just to think that we've got uh, with you, Jay, uh, another year with you, and and, and George, you uh, uh, two more years after this one. So that's and that's added a real dimension uh, to the capacity of this catamount team, having the two of you. And as Coach Chapel said earlier in the show. You're, you're both excellent uh, students of the game, you work hard, and you provide competition with one another, and you make one another better just by virtue of the fact that you're providing that competition. Jay, are you enjoying it here at Catamount uh, team yes, this sir. year? Uh, how many how many uh, kickoffs have you had in the end zone? Have you counted them? No, yes, sir. But you've had plenty? Yes, sir. All right. It, you're not getting the punt as much as you'd like to, are you? No, yes, sir. But that's always, that means we're ahead and, uh, and uh, or else if we turn it over, we're down in the other team's field, side of the field. Uh, George, uh, uh, besides your kicking duties, you're a defensive back. Yes, sir. And uh, you're getting a lot of time as a defensive back this year. You like that position? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Now, this is the first time each of you have been on this show, but I'll guarantee you that in the next next year and the next two years you'll be on it many times so keep up the good work let's go and have a big game against rome friday night because that's a big game yes, yes sir. thank you fellas they say all interior design stands on carpeting when you walk into a room and look down on a wear dated carpet <laughs> that room starts looking up wear dated carpet if we're not standing behind it, <laughs> you shouldn't be standing on it. Continental Products on Bonnie Oaks Drive is committed to service and is the largest in-stock film packaging distributor in the Southeast. Continental Products has qualified professional warehousemen and provides the best service, quality, and competitive pricing possible. Continental Products has with packaging conversion machines and a wide variety of specifically engineered packaging and textile products based on tomorrow's technology today with a large modern fleet. Continental Products now has a new line of packaging containers for the adhesive industry. Continental Products is truly committed to service. At BASF, we help make carpet more colorful, more durable, more valuable for your home team. At BASF, we don't make the carpet, we make it better. Uh, tonight we continue to emphasize the not only the present strength of this Catamount team, but also its future. And uh, here are the, is the present and the future of the Catamounts and the two men that we've got here today. On the left is Ty Macon. Uh, Ty is a, a running back and a defensive back. And on the right, uh, a sophomore. Uh, Ty, you're a junior. Heath Carroll, a sophomore. He's an offensive lineman and a, and a linebacker. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Uh, uh, Heath, you're, you're, you're a sophomore and you're, you're playing and playing and playing early. Uh, and, uh, uh, are you enjoying your career as a catamount? Yes, sir. I'm glad to be here, helping the team. And you are helping the team. 
and Ty, you're doing the same thing, and you're doing a great job at running back, and you and Jose have got a good, healthy competition going, have you? Yes. And you're both producing. I mean, when, uh, and I tell you, it's good to have two men like that because when you're out there to carry the ball uh, as often as our, our tailback carries it, uh, you need a breather every now and then, don't you? Yes. And now you all can uh, provide uh, support for one another and, uh, and, and our offense not skip a beat when he's not in there. Uh, Rome's coming up, Ty. Yes. Well, you going to be ready for it? Yes. All right. Heath, uh, another big group of, uh, of, of uh, defensive linemen that you'll have to move. Yes, uh, and, uh, but you did it in the Cedartown yes, game. Sir. Let's have another game like Cedartown, and uh, let's get after those big boys, and let's win over in Rome Friday night. Congratulations, fellas. Go get them. Yes. His childhood will have so many ups and downs, and these stairs will hold a lot of memories. But you won't find little mementos in the carpet because carpet of Travera polyester has stain resistance that won't wear off in heavy traffic. It's built for beauty that lasts. Eric! So chances are... I just don't understand. Your patience will wear thin long before Travera does. Of course, one day he'll find himself. And when he does, find him a place of his own. For carpet that can take anything, well, almost anything, Trevira. The Oakwood Cafe has been serving the Dalton area with fine food for over 50 years. The Oakwood Cafe is as traditional as Catamount football in the fall. You'll always see your friends and neighbors at the Oakwood, and each Friday from 4.30 to 7.30, you can enjoy a fried chicken buffet with all the trimmings. Sherry and Wayne Metcalf and the folks at the Oakwood Cafe provide the official pregame meal for the Catamounts and coaches. And the DHS varsity cheerleaders call the Oakwood Cafe their second home. DHS varsity cheerleaders say, go Big Red! At BASF, we help make carpet more colorful, more durable, more valuable for your home team. At BASF, we don't make the carpet, we make it better. All right, uh, tonight, Coach Richard Garrett on the left and Coach uh, Jim Bennett on the right uh, uh, are going to present the game film of the Ridgeland game. And, and I, if you're going to call everybody that played, fellas, <laughs> You're going to have to have a good memory because I think everybody that was helped, they got in the game uh, Friday night, and that was uh, uh, that was great. Uh, uh, Richard, your receivers continue to, to get the job done, and uh, I imagine we'll be throwing some against Rome Friday night. Uh, probably. It's uh, We're real proud of our passing game and what it's doing for us, and it helps open things up elsewise. And, uh, our receivers this year, like I said, last time I was on, just have done a good job and keep working hard, and I think they're getting better. So that's, you know, they're progressing. As well as, you know, Benji throwing the ball and stuff, it's no, coming together real well. All right, well, that's good. Now, now Jim, in addition to your your coaching duties, you, you sort of handle the, the weight program too, don't you? Yes, sir. We, uh, we're we working at an in-season program right now. We're lifting heavy uh, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday's a recovery day for us, and then Thursday uh, we do a, a, a light whole body workout. And uh, this is something new for the kids. Uh, they've, they've never really had a structured in-season program. And uh, uh, the kids were telling me the other day that they did, they felt better. Uh, they've been able to re retain their strength. So uh, hopefully it's paying off for us. And uh, you know we're, we're just going to continue to work and uh, uh, get better as we go. All right, let me ask you something. Can you sort of Tell who wants to play by by those that really will come and uh, and and hit the weights. You can tell a lot about their attitude, and uh, that's that's one thing about this group of kids. Um, they have a, a tremendous attitude, and uh, you know this summer when I was coming to the weight room and opening it, uh, we had good participation, and uh, I was really impressed with our young kids. Um, you know they really got in the weight room and got after it, and. Uh, you know, our older kids the same way. Uh, you know, they've got a real good foundation, and uh, they've got good work habits, and uh, that, that's been really impressive. Well, that's that's great, and it and it seems to be paying off. Uh, we're 7-0 and, and headed into the 
last third of the regular season. Uh, but a big one, big one Friday night, Jim. Yes, sir. Uh, I know Danny Wiseman at Rome real well and have a lot of respect for him. And uh, they have a very talented football team. And uh, they're one of those teams that, uh, with the amount of talent they've got, uh, you know, they can, they can beat anybody. And uh, they're big, and, and uh, they've got several kids that have been starting for four years now, either at, uh, at East Rome or West Rome, and now they've come together. So uh, it, it's a very big ball game for us. Okay, well, let's have a good practice uh, this week and, uh, and go to Rome uh, uh, ready for a real battle, and let's, let's win that, yes. that battle. All right, now let's go to the Ridgeland Field. We ran a test on our carpet. Naturally, we walked it 50,000 foot treads. And we proved that Anso Crush Resistor still looked good because Anso Crush Resistor bounces back. But when you come into the showroom, you may want to bring some test equipment of your own. Anso Crush Resistor, the carpet that bounces back. The Cope Company's quality comes first. Cope Machinery Company providing precision work with computer-aided manufacturing, giving you the versatility needed for today's manufacturing, including the carpet and carpet-related industries. Cope Brothers Construction, general contractors for all your industrial, mechanical, commercial, and residential construction needs. Cope Pool Builders, quality work building all types of swimming pools, commercial and residential, including full-service maintenance. All major brands, pool equipment, spas, chemicals, and replacement parts. For all your construction, pool, and machinery needs, call the Cope Companies today, 226-0989. childhood will have so many ups and downs and these stairs will hold a lot of memories but you won't find little mementos in the carpet because carpet of Travera polyester has stain resistance that won't wear off in heavy traffic it's built for beauty that lasts so chances are you just don't understand your patience will wear thin long before Travera does of course, one day he'll find himself. And when he does, find him a place of his own. For carpet that can take anything, well, almost anything, Trevira. Originally won the toss, of course, and deferred to us, so we're going to receive the ball here on the kickoff. And it's an onside kick. We recover. Uh, they did a good job, kind of unexpected. Here we come with a sweep, Jose. Uh, great blocking, good run, and uh, just a good football play to open up with. Here's the replay, you can see some of the blocking. Just a great football play. Here's Ty Hill. Uh, penalty. Tie making, excuse me. That's a little mess up. Uh, Peter thought they had a different play called and uh, kind of ran into Benji there. Charlie Bethel on a catch. Not quite a first down yet. Here's Jose. And the quarterback sneak. Jose again. Uh, they played that pretty well on defense. This is tie making. And for the score. Good block. Jay Duke's on the extra point. And we're up by seven. Speed Jay Duke's kicking off. Not one of his deeper kicks, but get real good coverage with uh, Peter Putnam down making a tackle. Rizlin comes out throwing the ball, and we talked in warm-ups about the footing being a little slick. And, uh, John Ford a little over cautious. They 
Bo Hammock and George Woods on the tackle. And throwing that again, it's John Ford on the tackle. They had a holding call. I was going to back them up. They were holding, uh, holding George there. Still first. He had a good pursuit. He Patterson turning the play in. And come with a sprint option again. It's the uh, Darby McCain and George Woods on the tackle. The, uh, flare pass. Jason Hine, George Woods, and Kevin Carpenter on the tackle. We've held them fourth down. They punted the ball quickly and high the other night. Our, our return game was not very good. Here we go with the sweep again. Uh, real good blocking on the outside. Uh, if you watch the game, our offensive line uh, really blows them off the line the whole game. and. Uh, do a real good job in there this week. Up oh, there's fumble. We recovered it. All right, here comes Jose again up the middle. A little draw play to Ty making. Ty just quick in there and it makes several good cuts. Tie again. As, you know, as you see right here, the, the line blocking fine job on pass. And uh, Ryan Minningham in for the touchdown. It's excellent pass blocking, good throw, perfect throw. Just a well-executed offensive play. Again, Jay Dukes for the point. The Jay kicking off again for us. Uh, this one's going to go into the end zone. Uh, they'll take over on the 20. First play, they're going to run the option. This is a big hit by Craig Cady. Uh, Kyle has forced a bad pitch. We had excellent pursuit there uh, on the ball. They come with a sweep again. We do a good job stringing out and playing it. It's uh, Heath Patterson, Marcel Anderson, and Jason High on the play. They come with a sweep pass. Uh, got real good coverage. Bo Hammett coming over the top. John Fordham. But we've held them three plays and out. Again, they're getting their punt off quick, get a lot of hang time on it. Not a very deep kick. Uh, we didn't have an opportunity to return very many of the other night. Here's Peter Putnam. Uh, this is first start this year for Peter, and he did a real good job running the ball and blocking also. And uh, also Bucky Burgess in there at center, he, he does a real good job. His first, no, I guess it's his second start this year. So uh, they're doing a pretty good job. We get the first down. Here's another sweep to tie. Just running hard. Good blocking on the corners. Here's Peter again. Does a real good job of getting through the trash. Just running hard and quick. Little option. Again, Ty. There's Peter. He goes in for the touchdown. Again, Jay Duke's kicking. And it's good again. 21 to 9. Kick off again. They're going to field it. Uh, 
try to run it out of there. Uh, we get good coverage. This will be uh, George Woods and Jay Dukes on the tackle. Craig Caddy on this tackle. Still trying to run the option. That was Blake Smith and Jason High. Try play action pass. Jason High was in the right place, just uh, couldn't come up with it. And it's three plays and out again. Another short high punt. We'll take over the ball. Ricky Hammondtree, I believe, is in at quarterback now. And again to Peter. Here we come on the option, pitch the ball. Ty making a good run again. Kind of got slammed out of bounds that time. We need to do better on our catching our own guys when we come out, I guess. Ty just a exciting runner. Gets in the open field. It's, he's just so quick, it's hard to get a hold of him. Jose just panted it up in there. Good line surge. If you just watch that, that's a, a great job. Somebody got, I think it was a linebacker, got blocked down right in the hole and kind of tripped over him. Hammond tree back to pass. That kind of sack is there. Pretty good coverage. They took him. We turned the ball over on down. First play is be uh, Craig Cade and Jones Couch on the tackle. They come with the option again. Craig had the quarterback's number on the option. Did a good job, forced a bad pitch. And, uh, Kevin Carpenter recovering the fumble. And turned the ball back over to the offense. Here we come to Jose with the sweep. Clipping call on us, going to bring it back. Oh, good throw, almost a good catch. It was a great hit. Got to pull those down. Here's Jose again. He's just punishing runner. Pretty good effort on John Fordham's part there, diving for the ball. And uh, the field goal by Jay Dukes. I think it's a 40. Three, two, four, two, four, three yard field goal. Good kick. We kick off. We get good coverage. With Bond McDaniel and George Woods down on the tackle. They try to trap us. That's uh, Heath Carroll, Jason High making the tackle there on the fullback. We get good pursuit. Just a whole host of red jerseys in there making a play. And uh, we'll go into halftime leading 24 to nothing. We played a very good half, and uh, we've, we've got to hold some folks who are injured out of the ball game. So uh, it's, it's been a good half of football for us. And uh, we'll go in at halftime and make a few adjustments and uh, come back out and ready to go second like half. Our friends and neighbors at Dalton Whitfield Bank and Trust invite you to call or come by and talk to one of our friendly account representatives about our full range of deposit and loan services at competitive rates. There's no service charge for regular checking accounts maintaining an average balance of $500 in your checking account and no service charge for classic club checking accounts for people 50 years of age or older. There's no limit on the number of checks you write, no charge for ATM transactions, plus checks and deposit tickets are returned to you with your monthly statement. 
So come on in, and while you're at Dalton Whitfield Bank and Trust, discover how easy and convenient it is to have your Social Security or payroll check deposited directly into your account at Dalton Whitfield Bank and Trust. For more information about our services, call 226-1500. That's 226-1500. Or come by Dalton Whitfield Bank and Trust on the corner of Thornton and Morris Street. Dalton Whitfield Bank and Trust, what you want a bank to be. Member FDIC. That's Mommy's Little Sweetheart. Now there's a new Stainmaster carpet that handles foot traffic like never before. New Stainmaster Extra Life. Only from DuPont. At Carpets of Dalton, we're rebuilding. That's right, we're rebuilding our galleries and our furniture showroom, but don't wait on a new showroom. We have thousands of square feet of quality name brand furniture with new orders arriving daily. So during our warehouse showroom sale, you can save on floor samples and all the custom orders. So for quality and value, don't forget... Carpets of Dalton, exit 135, under the big sign in Dalton, Georgia. Second half opens up, we'll be kicking to Ridgeland. Um, they won the toss and elected to defer to the second half. So, uh, it'll be, uh, I believe, uh, Jay, and Jay's going to be kicking off in this half. They fielded the ball on the five, it's through Brian McDaniel uh, making a hit. So it'll be their ball on the 20-yard line. Open up with a, with a bootleg action. We turn it in and get real good pursuit. Uh, that's our front four making the tackle. That's Ron Arnold, and, uh, Blake Smith, James Couch. And we're, just, we're getting around the ball and getting real good pursuit. So, good penetration. So we got an interception by Jason High. Asked Jason if he got lost on his way to the goal line. He ran a long way. But uh, had a real good week this week in practice, getting uh, getting underneath help from our linebackers on our pass drops, and they played a real good ball game. Here we go, Peter Putnam up the middle, and. Uh, Ty making on the sweep. Didn't get a whole lot there. They played that well from the outside. And uh, Peter again. Uh, Peter's pretty quick, runs hard. And Jose Lampley. Jose's a big old boy, hard to stop. And he just runs through, you know, you can't arm tackle him down there. We just run right to it. Jay Dukes again on the extra point. 31 to nothing, second half. This is George Woods kicking off for us. We get down the field, we miss, uh, get a couple of arm tackles there, but George and uh, Blake Smith and Kevin Crawford on the tackle. Uh, Craig Cady on the tackle for us here. James Couch, Percy Hairston stacking it up on the inside for us. Third down, they go with a pass play, it's incomplete. Three, three downs and out again for us. And fair catch to punt, so um, offense takes over again. And uh, I think Andy Eskew's in there now at tight end. So um, here comes Jose uh, coming around the end. You know, if you watch the line surge, we're blowing them off the line and then they're coming off their blocks about five yards downfield to make the tackle. So that's a pretty good job by our offensive line. Here's Peter. 
See, it rained hard the other night. Tie making. Great move there. Again, Peter Putnam. Just a, a good job by the line. And hard running. Just a pretty good offensive game so far. There goes Jose again on the outside. Jose again. And Ricky Hammondtree sneaks it over for the touchdown. I think that's Ricky's first score of the year. Wow, very sad. Jay Deeks on the extra point again. Good Jay kicking off and coverage. We, we get down the field well. The, uh, Kevin Crawford, George Woods, and Blake Smith on the tie. And two linebackers. Kevin uh, Carpenter and Jason Howe making that stop. They're trying to run the ball inside. Good play by James Couch there, shutting down the trap. A flat pass out there, Andy Johnson in strong safety. Uh, and he makes, makes a tackle for us. Flare pass. Uh, John Ford and Bo Hammock on the tackle. That'll be the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth. And Marcel Anderson on the tackle. And a drop. We've held him again. They'll be punting. Ryan Minningham fielding it. Fair catch. And Shane Shelton, the yeah, quarterback. Shane Shelton on the technique. And uh, here we go, Baron. McDaniel playing tailback now. Anson Hyatt, fullback. Uh, great catch there by Charlie Smitherman. Uh, caught it right when he got hit for the first down. Good job, good pass, good catch. And you'll notice uh, we've got the, a young line in here now, and they're blowing them off the line. It's, yeah. That's uh, big run by Anthony Anson High. High, yeah. In from the fullback position. Bron McDaniels. A good job of running there. Got to hold on to the ball just a little bit better. Down. And we give it up. Got a lot of young kids in here on defense now. This first play will be uh, Michael Howell, uh, Josh Shavers. Josh is a ninth grader, Michael is a tenth grader, been doing a good job for us on the JVs. Good pressure by Jamie Harris, a young defensive lineman. Uh, Andy Johnson knocking him out of bounds. Michael Howell on the stop again. Michael was in on a lot of plays in the fourth quarter. A couple of good legs and let him go. That's Casey Coffin on the tackle. Real good penetration by Alan Bonds and Randy Patterson and Matthew Boggs. We got credited with the tackle there. And Friday was Matthew's birthday. John Fordham catching the punt, returning it. Uh, kind of goes the wrong way a little bit, but uh, good it was catch. The only punt we returned. Okay. Yeah. Little miscue on the uh, snap. Brian That's Cunningham. Brian Cunningham at fullback again. He uh, does a good job on the B team, does a good job here. Offsides.
There's Brian again. A little fumble again. It's kind of tough coming in there in the fourth quarter, getting that exchange sometimes. New quarterback, new center. Uh, they just kind of broke down our pass blocking right there a little bit, and we punt. Our first punt of first the night. First punt of the night. So good coverage. You see uh, Tyler Campbell, Bucky Wright, Kevin Crawford, Bo Hammock down there. Do a good, good job covering. Good defensive play by Jeff Talley in the cornerback. Trying to beat us deep. And Jeff had good inside position. Option. See Michael Howell pursuing again. Alan Bonds, our two two linebackers. Let him get outside on us. The uh, Anson High and Michael Howell again on the stop. Sweep again. And Jeff Talley and Josh Shaver. Do a real good job playing this one. That's uh, Josh Shaver and Alan Bond and Andy Johnson coming up, you no know, for no gain. Casey Coffin and Josh Shaver on that tackle. Good pressure again by Jamie Harris. There's, uh, Alan Bond's in the right place and getting an interception. That's the way the fourth quarter of the end of the ball game is going to end with us up uh, 38 to nothing. It was a good ball game for us. We needed uh, we need an opportunity to, to let some of our injured guys heal up and not not have to count on them. And uh, we did that, and we got a shutout, which was very good for us. Uh, and we're able to play everybody that was healthy. So uh, it was a good night for us. Uh, good homecoming crowd. And, um, I feel like they got their money's worth and everybody got to play. So uh, we came through without any other injuries. So it was a good night and now we got to get ready for Rome. We ran a test on our carpet. Naturally, we wanted 50,000 foot treads. And we proved that Anso Crush Resistor still looked good because Anso Crush Resistor bounces back. But when you come into the showroom, you may want to bring some test equipment of your own. Anso Crush Resistor, the carpet that bounces back. In Augusta, a new pickup helped the Dixons turn weekend projects into profits. In Carrollton, we helped the Mitchells put down roots in their neighborhood. And in Albany, a hatchback allowed Deborah Carver's son to start college with more than just new towels. Nations Bank loan specialists have helped people all across Georgia with car loans, loan refinancing, and loans for home improvements. Come see how Nations Bank can give you the power to make a difference in your life. Hello, Danny Taylor here for Cosby Ford Mercury. Cosby Ford Mercury has a large inventory of fine, low-mileage, late-model trade-ins and Ford program cars to choose from that won't squeeze your budget. And at Cosby Ford Mercury, all their frontline used cars are backed with a Ford factory warranty. Cosby Ford Mercury, 27 North in Lafayette, Georgia. Discover the Cosby difference and hang in there. You know, uh, playing Rome, Coach, uh, brings back some ancient memories. Uh, I remember back in the 30s and, and uh, late 30s when we would go down to Barron Field and that, at that time we played Rome in Rome every year. We never played them up here. Isn't that right? Yeah. I didn't realize And uh, it was always a battle and uh, both on the field and in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that don't happen again. But it was a real rivalry then and now yeah. that the east and west Rome has merged and it's brought it back to Rome High, I'm glad to see this old rivalry uh, uh, with you. Well, it was Rome High when I first came to Dalton, and uh, then in the early 60s, I believe, they uh, came up with East Rome and West Rome, and now they've come back to Old Rome again. Uh, 
It's always been good rivalry. We had good rivalries with Rome. We had good rivalries with East and West and uh, until they quit playing us. And then uh, now, of course, we're all together again, and, and it's good. I kind of wish Marietta would come back in with us, too, because I always enjoyed that rivalry. Um, I wish we could get a rivalry going with Cartersville, because I think that would be, in years past, it was. But uh, I can't get them to schedule us. Um, Marietta, I can't get on our schedule anymore either. And that's uh, always was a good guy. I enjoyed that game. Uh, I don't necessarily enjoy going to Old Barron Stadium. Uh, the new stadium is different. Uh, you know, it runs different direction than the old stadium did. The old stadium went like this, and then when you know, it runs like this, and they got new stands, and that big old hedge is gone. And that uh, in the old Barron Stadium, we used to go in that uh, dressing room that would hold about ten people. <laughs> if you uh, if you went in sideways, you could get maybe ten in there. But it, it's a, it's much nicer now, and and they have good programs down there. And Rome High School this year, that that dressing room wouldn't hold ten of the Rome players. No, no, not now, no. But uh, they have uh, they have some some of the finest looking athletes. If you saw them last year, it's just a duplication again this year. They got uh, probably seven or eight college prospects. Uh, they, they've got size, they've got strength, they've got speed. Um, they just haven't put it together, and I certainly hope they don't put it together against us because uh, it's going to be very difficult as it is. And if they put it together, it it'd make the task even harder. All right, well, they, they're, they're in the hunt mm -hmm. for the... Uh, uh, number one spot in the region championship along with uh with northwest and uh and uh so this is an important game coach we need well to, we, we need, need to, to we win. need to win this game very much uh now they've lost one region game northwest has lost one region game cedar town has lost one region game and uh murray has lost two now so i, I don't know about ringo if they've lost any or not um or let's see i don't Rome, I think, beat. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about Ringo. Can't worry about Ringo. We don't play them yet. We worry, right. worry about Ringo when it comes time to play them. But I know but that Rome only has one, one region loss. And, right. And, and if they beat us, uh, just that could be critical. Muddy the, the water. The season. Muddy right. the water. So this is a really a, a, a big game like they all are each week. So get them ready, coach. And uh, and a bigger crowd will be down to, uh, to see you in Rome uh, Friday night and uh, along with me but the next two uh sessions of this show i'm going to be out of town not at the game time but when we do the show and mac mcintosh will be here or have somebody mm -hmm. be here with you the next two sessions well we'll miss you well <laughs> you won't miss me at the games you'll just miss me at the table all right all sir. right uh